how has this changing room changed? And obviously, if we look behind us, you're pretty much on every board, near the top of every board. Um, how has it how has it changed? And and the players that have come through here, you know, what what, what are some of the best teams you've played with, or some of the best players you've played with? Well, first of all, I mean, if you stick at something long enough, you should get up those boards. But um, you know, I, I haven't had. I'm not going to lie, I haven't had the most um, fruitful career for Wellington. I think, you know, for the games played and the numbers on the board, they probably personally don't match up in terms of how good I think, well, uh, how much I wanted to give back to this to this group. But, you know, that's that's just part and parcel of sticking at it. But um, In terms of the changes in this changing room, first of all, where I'm sitting right now is where the, the Bay Marie's used to be for lunch. Mm-hmm. Um you know, fish bites and chips on a on day one, and you know, mince pies at tea. It was quite strange to now think that um, we used to have the changing room next door. The away changing room now was our changing room, it was the home changing room, and we never dressed it up like this. Mm. It was never dressed up because it was it was used for football in the winter, and uh, teams would come and go from this environment. So we never really got to make it our own. Mm. Um, but that's that's part of growth and you know the squads are bigger now the the space needs to be bigger but it needs to be feel like more of a home considering we spend more time here um the in terms of you know the, we talk about the best players and best people that i've been a part of well, I've, I've lucky to come across is it's not even what they do on the park logan it's it's more than that it's you know the context the conversations i have now with these people and that's that's the special part that they still care mm. um it's very been, very been very humbling to first of all announce my retirement, but then the people that come out of the woodwork with that. Um, bumped into Grant Donaldson the other day, who not many people know, but he he was a genuine. Um, he he gave genuine input to this team, and he, he did. He tri- all he did was try, and he mm. came from club cricket. He was up a hut. Um, Stokes Valley and <clears throat> he still gives back to that club and I think you know he he patted me on the back and celebrated my success and I felt like I should be celebrating his you know he's he's moved on to the corporate world and he's got two fantastic kids and he's off to the box in a test match and with his kids it's just you know I just see those guys um Andrew Penn Stephen Mather um Richard Jones from Auckland who came down Matthew Bell who's now coach of the White Ferns <coughs> um, Stephen Fleming you know there's been some special people that have come through this changing room Jason Wells Chris Nevin who works here now it's it's amazing to think that um, you know I've been a part of their careers and they've been a part of mine mm. and what about some of the best teams I know you've been a part of a Plunkett Shield winning team a T20 winning team uh, a one day winning team would, would they be the best teams or were there teams that were even better that probably underperformed and do, you know, do you know what's funny is that like amongst it all the, the titles are the titles and I think they're just rewards from without being rude to those guys or, or those teams are, are rewards of winning the moment mm. um, and winning the moment at the right time it's you know funny how you do things at the right time you, you get over the line and or uh, even in life I suppose you know you take a left instead of instead of turning right, and, and you end up on the right path. But um, but I, there's not many better teams than the team I'm involved in right now, and that's that's a genuine comment. Um, when I started, it was everyone out for themselves, uh, and it has been for a long time. But I also think that New Zealand cricket and New Zealand's sort of built built like that, mm. um, where you've got you know X amount of players striving for 10, 10 11 spots and, and within those 11 spots there's probably only four available anyway um, you know they're constantly changing well they've been very consistent of late in the terms of their selections with the New Zealand team but to build a career as a cricketer you have to be quite selfish especially in New Zealand you can't there is no room for selflessness mm. um, for you to get better however now I, I personally I'm, I'm lucky to be have touched well I've dipped my toe, I suppose, into this environment, um, this wellness environment, I, and I, I genuinely think there's a, a desire for everyone to succeed, and it's fun. Mm. It is actually fun for me to turn up to work, and maybe because, you know, I've announced my retirement, it's easy for me to just want to come to work, and you know, I'm, I know I'm going to miss out on this in the future, but 
but I think there's a genuine desire for people in this group to want to succeed and win or lose it doesn't matter mm. you know what are we learning how are we growing and you know it certainly wasn't like that when I was a 22 year old I, I wanted to be you know the best in the world which was never going to happen but um, but then to sit on the other side of the fence and, and go right well, what is it that's that's been fun about it it's, it's this mm. and 